and everybody should know that's how love goes. It's good for the soul. Oh, I got a long way to go, but it won't stop the pain. No, no. That's the kind of thing that keeps me coming. The clipboard goes right side up. Won't happen again, Miss Chadway. I know it won't. Because anyone who doesn't follow the new rules will be old news. And I'd hate to lose such a good-looking young man as yourself. Carry on. Hey, Mom. Damon's taking us to Hologram Road. Oh, nice. Will you join us? Oh, I can't. But you can join me in my bed tonight. Oh. Sorry, kids. Mommy can't come this time. Unfortunately, this place doesn't run by itself. Mm. Poor Kenny. He was dead way before that accident took his life. Uh, what makes you think that I'm dead? Hey, baby. You, you look tired. Maybe you should... Day. You had your back surgery last Monday, remember? Mm, shit, no, 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 I don't. Paging Dr. Green. Come on, how the hell am I going to get my business running? My head's all messed up. You just can't, not for a while anyway. No, no I need to get up. No, Kenny, please. Get up. Sweetheart, no. Oh, Kenny, shit. Kenny, 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 calm oh. down. Just calm down, oh. okay? Everything's going to be okay. Look at me. Yeah. Okay? Everything's gonna be all right. We're almost there. Right there. 
There you go. <sighs> okay. Well, I see my kids aren't letting you get any sleep. Well, I'm getting more sleep than you're getting. Miss Joseph? Yes? Your sister is asking for you. Okay. I can't seem to okay. calm her down. Oh, sorry, sorry. Oh, God. What's wrong? Do you want to go home? The doctor said maybe tomorrow. She feels like she can't take another night in here. How about we take a walk down the hallway? Uh-uh. No, I'm tired of walking down these hallways. Everything smells disinfected. Okay, say you go home before you're ready. Then you'll end up right back here, and you'll be away from Jay even longer. You don't want that to happen. Now, how's everyone in here? Hi, Dr. Reston. Miss Joseph. Hi, please go home. Tracy, you hit the dashboard pretty hard. There's still some bruising around your heart and lungs. I'll tell you what. These stitches, they come out tomorrow. Let's see how you feel then. Okay. Hey, I'll make a deal with you. You stay here tonight, and I'll stay with you. Well, who's going to take care of Mama and the girls? They can stay with me and Jay. I'll work it out. Baby, you can't take care of all four of those kids. Babe, I said I'll work it out. Besides, Mama ain't exactly a kid. See? Just don't worry about it. Are you sure you can hang? This ain't exactly the Four Seasons. Girl, please. I don't even like the Four Seasons. In my heart, I'm a Motel 6 kind of girl. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, God. Hey. I'm going to relieve Maxine so she can spend some time with the kids, okay? Yeah. Okay. Later, team. Bye. For lunch. Well, I'm cooking lunch and dinner for you and the kids because I have to sleep with Bert at the hospital tonight and I won't have time later. Terry, all you should be doing is taking care of your family. I am taking care of my family, Damon. I have to take care of my boyfriend, too. Come on. Your boyfriend can take care of himself. Hey. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I am fine. So will you please stop worrying about me? Like Lem said, I walked away from the accident. Damon, you know, Lem was really, really upset when he said that. One save the day visit from your ex-husband and you, you're blowing up a CD? Just the radio, Damon. Miles still here? No, he left yesterday. He had to go back on the road. Well, there. Milestones all gone. Last time I went to see my pops, he said I was the man of the house until he comes home. Now that I'm running things, I have to figure out how to beat this baptism curse. Ahmad, Keisha's on the phone. Tell her I call her back. I'm busy. Okay, I'll tell her this time. Too busy for me? Yep. Did my ears hear right? When did you get to be so grown? Well, your baptism curse almost killed my dad. Boy, what are you talking about? 
the first time I was supposed to get baptized, you died. Now the second time I was supposed to, everybody was in a car accident. Those things have nothing to do with getting baptized. Here's the deal. You tell God that unless he sends me a real good sign that changes my mind, I'm not having anything else to do with church. Ahmad Chadway, who do you think you're talking to? I ought to take a belt to you. You can't. You're not really here. I want a sign. Period. Hi. <laughs> How are you? I was just about to go to the hospital. Oh. <laughs> so, um, how's your family? No, Kendi's back is healing. Good. The swelling in his brain is almost gone. And the kids are getting tired of Aunt Terry's rules. <laughs> <laughs> well, what about Aunt Terry? Is she getting any rest? I'll oh, I'll rest when I'm dead. Oh. No, really, I'm fine. I'm fine. How are things at the office? Great. Actually, that's why I came by here today. Uh, Walker and King are doing fine with the cases you assigned to them. Oh, good. And with you doing the more complicated stuff from home we're managing. I'm going to have this Taylor brief ready by tomorrow. Great. Good. That... <sighs> I don't want to seem insensitive, Terry, really. I don't. I know it's only been a week and a half, but... Do you have any idea when you're going to be back? <laughs> you're getting pressure? That meeting you were supposed to have with the partners is still pending. Now, they said take all the time you need, but... Uh... You don't think it's wise? I'll figure it out. Well, you always do. Um, I, um... Go. Walking slower than I do with these old arthritic knees. You tell God what I said? He heard the words when they came out your mouth. Good. Baby, there's no such thing as a baptism curse. If you know so much, how come you didn't know the accident was going to happen? I couldn't have told you that was going to happen either. Hey, son. Hi. Mom went to go check on your office. She took Kelly and Brooke with her. And I tell her when to go run some errands. Yeah, yeah, she told me. So how you feeling? Well, you know, I'll be feeling much better when she come over here and give me a hug. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, math and French still kicking your butt? Nah. Um, Terry's helping me with algebra, and Damon's helping me with French. I'm glad you came by. You know, I wanted to talk to you about that whole, you know, baptism thing. Um, you know, I want the family to get back to normal. And that means putting the day that this accident happened behind us. And following through what we were trying to do that day. Getting you baptized. I can't. If I go near that church, the baptism curse will kill you. Wait, come here. You sit right here. Nothing is gonna happen to me. I'm gonna be just fine. 
All right. All right. I can't have a truck there in 20 minutes, sir. Yes, I know I said that 20 minutes ago, but we're, we're a bit backed up. Please, Mr. Jenkins, Mr. Mi hey, Chucky. Hey, I, I hope you're here to take over, because uh, I'm through. <laughs> now, Chucky, when you say through, I hope you don't mean through, through. I mean through fucking through. Excuse me. I'm, I'm sorry. And look, it, I, look, I can barely service my own three or four clients, because I'm so busy trying to keep Chadway afloat. Kelly, baby, take, take Brooke over there to the other desk and let Mommy have a talk. Come on now, please, Chucky. Now, look, can you just help us out for a couple of more weeks? I'm sure Kenny is going to be back on his feet by then. That's BS, Max, and you know it. Kenny damn near broke his back. You don't know when he'll come hobbling back in here. Chucky, you can't just walk out, out on us like this. I'm sorry. I got to get out of here. But you're supposed to be Kenny's boy. How you just... Look, I am Kenny's boy. We go way back. But you know what? If I stay here and help you guys, I I'm going to be out of business myself. Chuck. I'm sorry. I got to go. Bye, Max. Chuck. Terry, this is Max. Can, can you come pick up the girls earlier? Thanks. Bye. Good morning. How are you? Good morning. Welcome back, Terry. Good to be back. Good to be back. Welcome back to see you. Hi, Gloria. Close your mouth. I'm not a ghost. I didn't know you were coming back today. Obviously. I came by to get some files. Oh, I could have brought any one of these to you. Is Brian in? I think I just saw him over at the cappuccino cart. Thank you. Okay. Oh, okay. I can't call you back if I don't know you call, so leave a message. Hi. I was hoping to catch you before you went to work. See how you're doing. Let you know that you're on my mind. Yeah. Call me. Bye. I was really sorry to hear about what happened to your family. Oh, thank you. Uh, I'm surprised to see you here. Well, I'm equally surprised to see you here. Doug Pirelli said you'd be out for the rest of the year. Clearly, that's not true. Well, I'm glad to hear that. <laughs> It'd be great to get back to our shorthand, you know what I mean? No. Bye. Bye. Why is Doug telling my clients I'm going to be out for the rest of the year? Before you come at me with that accusatory tone, remember who showed up on your doorstep last night. I'll have one of those. You got... Nah. Come here. Thank you. By the way, it's nice to see you. Mm-hmm. Well, look, you tell Doug and whoever else needs to know that I'm coming back to work. Tomorrow. Great. Great. Let me know when you're ready to see Green and Norris. I'm back tomorrow, so you might as well let the games begin. <laughs> <laughs> I'll schedule the meeting. Damn it. Um, Go. Uh, Go. Chad, wait, Tony. Yes, yes, the truck will be there in ten minutes. Hey, little secretary. Hi. What are you doing? Thank you. Okay. books. Sorry I'm late, girl. Took longer than I thought at the office. You'd think I'd been gone for ten years instead of ten days. Can't lift my inbox with the crane. And to top it all off, somebody's been telling my clients I'm gonna be out for the rest of the year. What's wrong? Chucky quit. You serious? Kenny has worked night and day for ten years to build up his business, Terry. I, I can't let it fail.
So what? Chucky quit. You can run this business, Maxine. With Lila's help? Now, didn't you tell me that she's always bragging about how she used to be the office manager of some company five times the size of this one back home? Yeah. Yes, well, then make her prove it. Anything else you can't figure out, Kitty can walk you through on the phone. That's a good idea. Mm-hmm. I mean, helping out like that will definitely lift his spirits. Anything that'll help him feel like he's contributing would be a good thing. Girl, I don't know. No, I don't even want to think about what I'd do without you. Well, <laughs> you're not going to have to do without me, but I'm going back to work tomorrow. So, we are going to have to adjust a little. You going back to work, but I thought, oh, oh okay. What? Nothing. We'll adjust, like you said. Chadwick Towing, this is Maxine. What's up, Black? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> How you doing? Oh, I'm good, man, good. How's Big Bird? Oh, going home, finally. Yeah? Oh, hey, before you know it, you be out of here too, man. Uh. I'm not going anywhere, man. I can barely walk and my head's not straight. Give it time. If I can't take care of my family, I might as well be dead, huh? <laughs> Kenny, man, come on. You could have died in that accident, but you didn't. I mean, be grateful for that. After two crushed discs and major surgery, it's gonna take a minute to be good again. Yeah, a long minute, but I'll give you that. But Kenny Chadway ain't the one to give up. I mean, besides, what you in a hurry to get out of here for anyway? I mean, the sooner you get out of here, the sooner I'm gonna be whipping that ass on the courts. <laughs> <laughs> oh, see. See, now you're tripping. <laughs> oh, ah. Oh. Hey, um, you know what? I, I'm gonna go get Burr. She wanted to come holler at you. Yeah. Cool. All right? Cool. All right. All right. Second floor. Right there. What's up, bro? Nothing much. On my way to work. What's up with you? I'm cool. Still getting these headaches. Popping Motrin like a skin. Seems to be the only thing that makes them better. Well, keep your head up. What are you doing here? Visiting Kenny. Is that right? Well, you know, right now is not a good time. He's sleeping. <laughs> you and I both know you ain't here for Kenny. You here for yourself. Looking for somebody to pat you on your back and tell you it's not your fault. It's all right. Well, it ain't all right. You fucked up and it ain't no help for you here. What am I supposed to say to that? I've tried, I'm sorry, but you didn't want to hear it. And I still don't. My wife could have died. But she didn't. Look, I'm, I'm going to see Ken's. If you want nothing to do with me, don't have nothing to do with me. You'll stay away from me, I'll stay away from you. You well, know, all I'm trying to do is the right thing. The right thing? Then don't make my brother-in-law look in the face of the reason why he's laying in that bed feeling like shit. That's the right thing. think I'm gonna break. Cool. Sorry. You know what? I would like some more soup if that's oh, okay. Well, I'll get it. I'll help. <laughs> Quit staring at me. I ain't staring at you. <laughs> 
Guess who came to the hospital today? Who's that? Damon. Oh. I checked him quick and told him to step. You might want to check yourself on that one. Tripping. Look, Damon is suffering too, Lem. Max, don't make excuses for him. I'm not. Look, I can't count the number of times I've been fumbling around with a cell phone instead of watching the road. Oh, I wasn't even driving that day, and I feel guilty about being all right. Besides treating Damon bad, it's not going to make Kenny or Bird heal any faster. Pull that closer, please. Hello? Hey, I'm in here. Hey! How you doing? Okay. The baby sleep? Mm-hmm. I'm so happy you're home. I don't know what to do with myself. Yeah, you just don't want to spend another night at that hospital. <laughs> Oh, okay. Oh, thank you, baby. Wait a minute. It's not too bad. Hey, Max. I know you're feeling that uh, pressure with Candy's business and everything, so what you need us to do? With the kids. So it's going to mean some serious juggling. That's why I'm going to need the help. T's taking care of the kids, isn't she? Mm -mm. I'm going back to work. When? Tomorrow. Tomorrow. I was thinking about hiring a nanny. I'm not leaving my kids with a stranger. She's not going to be a stranger once you get to know her. Here we go. Here we go where? She just said she doesn't want some stranger watching her kids, and you're insisting it's all right, because it's all right for you. Hello. You know, well, I certainly don't need you to tell me what's right for my sister. Lem, can I get some water? Well, somebody needs to tell you. Well, that somebody wouldn't be you. Lem. <coughs> you okay? Mm -hmm. Baby, open the door, please. What? No, wait, just... Bird, I'm not going to tell you I know how you feel because I don't. Now, all I can tell you is that... All I can tell you is that I'm here and I need to see your face, honey, so I, I know you're okay. Or you can stay in there as long as you want, and when you decide to come out, I'll still be right here waiting. Come in. Just Terry. About two and a half, and I was seven. I took you to that park up the street, and <laughs> you kept saying, T, I I want to go home. I want to go home. But I was on the swing with that cute Bobby Graham, so I kept swinging, and you kept whining. The next thing I know, you had peed in the sandbox, and all the <laughs> kids <laughs> were running and screaming, T. Hmm? What the hell does that have to do with me pissing on myself tonight? I'm 26 years old and that couch ain't exactly a sandbox. I know. Babe, I spoke to the doctor and he said he can see you tomorrow at 11. Can you just go get the baby, please? I got him. I got him. Hey. I'm not going to the doctor. Sweetie. Don't you want to know what's going on with you? What if he tells me this is going to happen to me for the rest of my life? You know, then I'll have to wear those diaper things. 
They're not diaper things. Huh? What are those things called? I don't know. You know, they're in the sanitary department. Yeah, the old baby. Yeah, it's like, kind of like pull up. Yeah, yeah but it's the grown ups. Yeah, the exactly. pants. The pants. Right. right. But you're not going to have to wear those. Definitely not. No, I won't have to wear them. I'll just sit on the toilet for the rest of my life, so I'll already be there when I need to pee. Oh, sweetie. sweetie. Lily's gotta go to the doctor. You know, we'll all go. Me, you, Maxine, and Lim. That's a good idea. Well, all of us will go into the room with you, just like we did when Jeremiah was born. Yeah. Oh, damn. What? I have a meeting with the partners tomorrow. But when well, I can't can... you reschedule it, Terry? No, I can't. Well, Man, you know what? You know, it's it's always... Terry it's will no, go it's... to her meeting. I'll go to the doctor and we'll all just calm down, okay? And whatever he has to tell me is not going to change based on who's in the room with me. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Now get out because i got to do my thing, okay? i got to take care I'll of myself. I'll be there. You'll call me as soon as you know something. Yes, I will. Do you promise? Yes. Okay? Thank you. Love you. I uh, had to go to the store for Bird and remember I had those on special. Yeah, you want a beer or something? Nah, I'm cool. I gotta get back to Bird. Given the absurdity of her partnership request, the decision we have to make is embarrassingly simple. Oh, make your point, Doug. Well, it's the clearest evidence yet that she lacks understanding of the Green Norris way. Isn't the Green Norris way to bring in clients? She brought in the top two last year. Yeah, and a couple of companies have bluntly stated that they're with Green Norris because Terry Joseph's with Green Norris. Granting a request would set a damaging precedent. Every day we'd have junior associates coming to us and telling us what he or she deserves. And besides what's right and what's wrong, we have to look at what's smart. I was wondering when someone would bring up that small point. Yeah, I have to agree with Brian. I mean, look, Terry's one of the top three performing associates at this firm. And that translates directly into dollars in our pockets. Now, the down and dirty gentleman is we try a lot of discrimination cases. And our clients like having an African-American female at the council table when they're being sued by an African-American or a female. Look, I'll be the first to say I don't believe her threat to quit. She makes... 250k a year. She has a big house, a big car, a big family. Where is she going to go? Nowhere. Because the bottom line is that Terry Joseph's good for business. Now, how about we soft-shoe the partnership issue and let her think she's a shoe-in next time we vote? 
Well, if I were a betting man, I'd say Terry Joseph's not the kind of gal you can soft chew. But since I'm the only non-believer here, let's go forward. Thank you, Mr. Pirelli. sue somebody? Well, I have that big meeting, and seeing your face always calms my nerves, so... Where is your key? It's in my purse. But I wasn't sure if I should use it. Why wouldn't you use your key? Uh, do you hear that tone in your voice? Because I hear it every time you speak to me lately, like it's a burden to talk to me. I'm not the enemy, Damon. I know. I'm... I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for everything. But I gotta work this one out for myself, and I need the space to do that. We're not 16 years old. You can't just say to me, I need space. Go to work, Terry. We can talk about this later. Bert has a doctor's appointment this morning, and she really wanted me to be with her. But instead, I'm going to be in a meeting where I might be fired, forced to quit, or maybe everything will turn out okay. But the whole time that I'm in there, I'm going to be wondering if my sister is all right. And I'm going to be holding it together for her, for the rest of my family, for you, and for myself, while you're here wallowing in your space. Good morning. Good morning, Terry. Hello, Terry. Nice to see you. Good morning, Terry. Well, <clears throat> first, let me say how happy we all are that you're back in the office. Good to be back. We missed you. And not as much as your clients did, so we assured them all you'd be back soon. Thanks, Doug. Well, it's good to be back, and I miss this place very much. Let me get right to the point. We can't make your partner right now, Terry. We just can't afford to set that kind of precedent. Uh, we've never had a special meeting to make anyone a partner. I know you'll agree that it's not in the best interest of the firm to change its policy for one associate. Hmm. Even our most valued one. The good news is, the last time we voted, you only had your department support. But after the year you've had, I'm sure support will be firm-wide the next time we vote. Well, you know something? That really sounds good. Three times to hold my calls. I told you when I got here this morning. Tell Bert to meet me at the doctor's office. Okay, I'll call her right back. Thank you, Gloria. I apologize. Now, I would never do anything to compromise this firm. And now that I know that I will be made partner next year, I am willing to wait for it. As long as you are willing to put this agreement in writing. <laughs> well, you know we can't do that. Can't you? Well, it just seems to me that if you're willing to assure my clients that I'd be here, you should be willing to assure me of the same thing. Well, if you don't feel comfortable putting it in writing, I'm going to assume that you're making a promise you have no intention of keeping. We won't put it in writing, Terry. Oh. Well, then I don't know what choice I have. I'll have to resign, which is 
I guess exactly what I'm doing. Consider this my two weeks' notice. Terry, maybe you need more time to think about this. You know, Brian, that's exactly what I don't need. Right now is when my family needs me, and maybe one day that won't be as true, and I'll go back to work. But just not here. If you'll excuse me. those assholes keep jerking me around or try to save my sister from a nervous breakdown. Look, I know how horrible the past 10 days have been for you. I know how worried you are about your family. But you just don't walk away from this kind of job. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense for you. I'm not a privileged white male with an Ivy League education. I can't believe you're turning this into a racial thing. I just want you to understand that this decision makes sense for me. I'm not a failure if I don't make it here. I was a success the minute I left Chicago Southside without a crack habit, a bullet in my head, or a baby on my hip. My law degree, Green Norris, that was easy. Getting another job? Even easier. Come here. I respect you so much. I know you care about me, too. I can't work here anymore. I do care about you, Terry. Maybe too much. you guys bother to wear watches if you're going to ignore the little hands on them? We had to drop the kids off at Lila's. <gasps> Lila? You don't want to leave the kids with a qualified nanny, but you don't mind leaving them with a ex-tow truck driver. Excuse what me. are you trying to say? Excuse me? I'm going to go let the doctor know I'm here. Okay. What kind of decision? You know, it don't say anything. I quit my job. No, you didn't. They were never going to make a partner, so I had to go. So I might as well be there for my family. In case you need me.
What about the money, T? I could not work for the next three years and be okay. Well, what if they had given you the vaccine? Okay. I spent a lot of time looking for a sign, worrying that I hadn't given God enough time to come up with one, wondering if he already sent it and I missed it while I was playing basketball with Reggie or talking to Keisha on the phone. Boy, you move as slow as tree sap. Time to get dipped. Yes, sir. Bottom line, he didn't send me a sign, so I'm not doing it. I'm not helping the baptism curse take my pops out. Where's your robe? Um, I don't know. I put it in here. Guess I can't get baptized. Yeah. You were going to pay. Pay your bills. But then a steel, small pushes, be strong. Be strong, be strong, sometimes struggle is my will, I'm never late, uh -huh. I'm always on time, get ready for your miracle, move on up to the front of the line. Today is your day for your miracle, your miracle. When my mom busted me out, I finally told her about the curse. She started crying and said Dad would be all right whether I got baptized or not because God doesn't work like that. She just doesn't understand. It's all me now. Gotta break out of here before they can dip me or Dad dies. Maxine, look at that boy's knees. You look at him. Ma, well, I already seen him. Besides, it was his big idea to leave his robe at home. I cannot believe you're making him get baptized in Lim's T-shirt. I can't believe I gave it up and helped your dog, that little brother. A Ma needed to get baptized today. He needed to know everything's gonna be all right. Wait a minute. That's Shirley Caesar. The Bible says, render unto Caesar what is Caesar's and render unto God things that are God's. Caesar's singing about a miracle. This song is my sign. The curse is lifted. Somebody wants to talk to you. Hey, congratulations, son. Hi, Dad. You all right? I'm good. You? Yeah, I'm good. Is that Shirley Caesar here in the background? Yeah, check it out. <laughs> 